Hello and welcome back. This is David Tierney and here's another video for the video tutorial series on WordPress and the Divi theme uh, to help you manage your new website. This video is going to be presenting a couple of edit editing tips how to work with your content. The first editing tip I want to show is that if you are going to copy content from outside of your website that you've already created or that you're copying from somewhere else such as out of a, a Word document or a PDF file the, you want to strip any of the code that is coming the, the programming formatting that is coming from the document you're copying it from into when you put it into the website because otherwise that that code that you don't necessarily see when you paste it in can can mess up uh, and create problems for your content in your website because the the programming and formatting code that comes from one type of document into another uh, is different kinds of formatting code and different kinds of programming code that's not interpreted in the same way so for example I have some text that I just copied from a PDF file and if I paste it in here it looks like this and this is what it looked like when I pulled it out of my PDF document. But if I go and click on the text tab, this will show me if there's any code associated with what I pasted in. And you can see all of this and all of this is formatting code that you wouldn't otherwise know if you didn't have this little tool that would show you that there was actually some code pasted in here. So what you want to do is you want to use this button here. You want to click it once. It says paste this plain text and it will put your your website now your editor into a mode in which if I paste now and I look there's no code it will only paste in the content and from here I can now format uh, the content now that I have brought it into the web page so that's the first tip the second tip is if you have some content and you want to uh, create a bullet list or a numbered list what you want to do is instead of highlighting my natural tendency would be to highlight the whole line maybe both lines and say I want to make these into a bullet list and click the button here to make it a bullet list but what it does is it grabs the paragraph underneath it which might throw you off and so here's your tip on how to avoid that again we'll go ahead and hit the undo button what you do is you actually just select a portion of both lines and then you hit your bulleted list or your numbered list and it will just format those two. It works the same if you're uh, if you're highlighting some text that you want to change formatting for here. If you want to make it a header two, for example, it won't actually select everything the way you would think intuitively it would. What you would do is you would select a portion of both, and then you would do that and you can see it's selected just as you would want. I wanted both of those lines to be a header too and so so that's what it did. Okay, the third tip I want to show you is that if you want to edit um, if you want to edit a link or some other pre-formatted text, uh, here's a little trick for you. So let's say these words, let's actually take some words down here. Let's say these words are a link to another place on the website, maybe our home page, and you can see it's turned blue, so that means it's a link for, for this particular theme. But let's say I want to edit and I want to um, I want to put another word at the end here and I want to add the word with as the link. If I start to type the word with, if I just add it onto the end, it does it's not included in the uh, it's not included in the link so when you've got text it's already formatted what you can do is put your cursor somewhere within the formatted section and edit from there so I'm gonna make a space I'm gonna type the word with and then I'm gonna get rid of the s and now I have what I wanted and it's actually formatted the way I wanted copy that so the trick is if you want to add something to the beginning or to the end of some words or if you want to replace it completely then what you would want to do is actually uh, put your cursor within the formatted area 
make your change, and then pair back from the outside. And that way, what you're changing will all be continue to retain the formatting that was there. It would be the same thing if we had some some bolding. You know, if we took this and we added to the end. Actually, in this case, it did add it on. So maybe it just works with links. But anyway, so that's another tip just from my experience working with uh, with editing WordPress content. Okay, and here's another tip, is that if you want to add uh, content that is not, so this this is showing us that this is one paragraph, and when you hit the carriage return, you drop down another line here, and you can type some content here, and you hit the carriage return, you drop down. But let's say you want to have maybe an address, um, and you want to have the lines not dropping, you want to have two lines really close underneath each other, what you do is you hold down the shift key and then hit the the return key or the enter key on your keyboard and it will allow you to drop down right down the next line so uh, it's very helpful sometimes if that's what you want to do and you don't want to when you hit the return key go all the way down to a whole new paragraph you just want to drop down a line that's what you do you hold the shift key down and hit the return the last thing I want to show you in this tutorial is if you want to add a photograph, uh, an image to your content, uh, let's say we want to add an image over here and we want it to be on the right side and you know generally when you add a, a, an image you want it to, to the top of the image to be at the same line as a paragraph, it's some paragraph, you sort of don't want it usually floating in the middle of nowhere. Um, and so what you do is you actually put your cursor over here on the left side, even if you want the image on the right or if you want it on the left, you put your cursor on the left side at the beginning of the paragraph, to, at the top line of where you want your image, and you'll see in a second, and then you go up here to add media, and now we've got a couple of images here in Add Media that we'll go ahead and just add this image here. But if you want to upload one, you hit Upload Files, click on Select Files, and it'll allow you to pull an image from your from your uh, computer. But I'm just going to grab this one, and now over here I can say, where do I want it? I want it aligned to the right. So I'm going to do right, but you can do right, left, or none, or center. Do I want it to link to something? No. I just want it to be an image. If I did have it linked to something, then it would have a link, and when they clicked on the link it would it would expand the image out to show its full size for example if we uh, if we had a medium size because this image is so small to begin with it's only giving us uh, a small size well let's look at a bigger image and see how it gives us a couple of different options full size large medium and a thumbnail so let's say we're going to take a medium size we don't want it to link to anything we want it over on the right side and then we go ahead and hit insert into page and you'll see boom you see how the top of the image aligns with where I put the cursor which was at the top of this paragraph if I wanted this image to be on the left side I would have just said align left now I can also edit the image by clicking once in the image and it'll show me this little editor tools and I can easily change it by clicking align left and now it's over to the left um, I can put it align center which will put it on top of the text, but I don't really want it there. Align right worked pretty well for me. Uh, and then if you want to get rid of an image, I, it's best not to click on the image and hit the delete key on your keyboard, but to actually use the remove button here. That will cleanly remove the image and, and all of the associated code with the image in a way that will be much better for your, your WordPress, uh, your website. Um, I think that's it for this series of tips. And uh, I hope you'll come back and watch another video. Thanks.